Hi everybody, Peg here with another mystery envelope. This is something that Bea sent to me. And I'm going to open the envelope and show you what was inside. Um, she sends us these little fun packages and says, create, create what you like with them. So I'm just looking inside. There's a cute little ATC that she sent me, some uh, like playing cards, um, some paper map, uh, some text paper, looks like some kind of a embellishment, a metal embellishment. Um, oh, and there's a pretty picture of a woman and some uh, fabric. So I'm going to create using the things that she sent me. First thing I want to do is just take those cards and make some altered trading cards. So I'm going to glue some of the papers, uh, some are from the envelope that she mailed the stuff to me in. Some are other papers that she had on the inside, but I'm going to trim those out and um, turn them into artist trading cards. She had two of these cards in the package, and um, I wanted to do both of them. So if you don't know about Bea's channel, I'll have links down below in the description and for the other people that are playing along with this mystery envelope um, there's a number of us that are doing this this month and I think you might enjoy all of the different things that are created with similar items you know that's that's the fun of it is we all get similar items and what is it that we create out of these things so uh, you'll get quite a wide variety because each artist is open to doing their own interpretation with this. So, yeah, I've got those cards covered, and now I need to embellish. So, in my package, um, I mentioned that there was this fabric, and so I'm just going to cut a little strip of that uh, pretty green fabric. It's like a brocade and it has some flowery stuff on it. And there also was um, some washi tape wrapped around something. I can't remember what, but <laughs> I thought, okay, it's in here. I'm going to use it. So um, I grabbed my glue. This is a tacky glue. I'm going to put this fabric down on my artist trading card with. And then I have this little, um, it's almost like a button or something that has the Mona Lisa on it. And um, I'm going to use that on this trading card as my embellishment. Oh, that was ribbon. Okay, she had a couple pieces of ribbon. Not, I thought it was washi tape. Hmm. <laughs> nope, it was ribbon. So I'm going to use the ribbon to further embellish my uh, card here using that tacky glue again. And, uh, yeah, just put some cloth pieces down in there. I'll trim it out. I'll glue my little button onto that particular card, uh, do some uh, inking around the edge, and that will be the first ATC. So I did find an embellishment uh, that looks kind of like a crown and some washi tape that I added to that card. And then on the other one, I used some more of that ribbon and a couple of flowers that I had in my stash and a metal uh, leaf that was also part of the mystery envelope that Bea had sent. And I will have two cards done. So there's still a lot of stuff in that uh, package that had been sent to me, and I wanted to keep on creating using some of those pieces. Um, you know, you have stuff in your stash, you need to use it up. So I thought, okay, perfect opportunity to keep on going and make some more stuff. So I remembered that there was this pretty lady, looked like a book page, and I thought, oh, I need to cut her out and put her on something because she's a beautiful lady and she needed to be used. And I had this, this is a piece of card that was in the package. I think it was just meant to be there to stabilize things. But I thought, well, I can glue that fabric down to that card and make a background for the pretty lady image. So that's what I do. I end up using my Sikwang tape and just uh, adhering the fabric to this card. 
to make a backdrop for this pretty lady image. Because you got to admit, she is a pretty classy gal, right? Okay, so um, there's no rocket science about this. I'm just peeling off the label that's on the top of the tape. Um, I'm going to add another piece of tape to the middle. This happens to be some Elizabeth Craft tape that comes on a big roll, and I thought that'll help stabilize that and keep it from sliding around. So I'm just going to put that in the fabric crease, put it down, trim it out, and fasten it to the back. Now, in order to make this uh, a little bit neater, what I do is after I trim it and glue down the edges, I will take a piece of that text paper and just cover the raw edges of my fabric. Um, I want to make sure that that gets covered up and looks a little bit neater. And then I will glue my lady down, add a saying, and um, yeah, she's she's ready to roll. She'll be... Uh, project number three out of my mystery envelope, right? Just going back to that um, tack it, tacky glue. Putting that down, and then I'm going to find some words to add to my little image and kind of outline that to make it come off the page a bit. So that's number three. Now I need to do number four, right? Right. So if you will recall, there was this fastener, um, which to me looked like a closure for a bracelet or something. So I got out some different chains. You know, I, I have a jewelry stash. And I got out some different chains, and I'm just going to attach a number of them to this closure. Uh, with my pliers and a jump ring. And then I will do the same on the opposite end because there's this twig type piece that uh, looks like it belongs. It, it fastens through the whole of the other piece. So I'm going to get my chains on here, close up my jump ring. You just do that by twisting back and forth until they line up. And then you can see I have a number of different chains there. And then I'll do the same on the opposite end. I will put a jump ring through that little twig closure and then add my chains to that closure. And I will create a bracelet. I have a couple of charms out there. I have a little um, old-fashioned lady shoe and a fleur de lis and I'll put those on there just for some added embellishment. Um, but that's about it for me. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I made out of all the things that had been sent to me in my mystery envelope. I hope you are going to go and watch the other artists that have received an envelope and are creating for you this month. And I want to thank Bea for uh, allowing me to be part of this collaboration. It was a lot of fun and um, hope we can do it again sometime. So that's it for me, guys. And remember, you make a difference, so be kind and love one another.